first, let's get into some of the news items we've got here uh, tonight. I have announced and launched a planned protest to occupy the Fed. Instead of just saying capitalism is evil and all companies that have stocks and bonds on the stock market are evil, which is obviously ridiculous, we're going after the big six mega banks that created the 1.5 quadrillion that control our government, that have gotten the 27 plus trillion in banker bailouts. We are going to start this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday occupying Federal Reserve Banks across the country. There are only 12, and the head of Region 11 is Dallas. I'll be there Friday, 6 o'clock. I'm going to end the radio show and drive up from Austin. I'm going to demonstrate and point out the criminal activity and hope that people actually occupy it for a few weeks to draw media attention. Then I'm going to turn south and drive to Houston to their branch and then over to San Antonio. So I'll be 6 p.m. Friday, Federal Reserve Dallas. High noon at the Federal Reserve branch of the Dallas Reserve, uh, which is even a bigger complex, uh, down in Houston, Texas at high noon on Saturday. And then, of course, Sunday, we're going to be 10 a.m. to noon there in San Antonio with the Federal Reserve Branch Bank. And then as I turn north to drive back to Austin, I'm thinking about going to a Bank of America branch, but they're going to be closed then. So I think on Monday, we're going to go out to a local Bank of America branch who've been caught robo-signing and taking houses that they never even had a deed to and don't own. Houses bought in cash, paid for decades ago, they've been caught stealing them. And so we're going to be also going in and getting in the face of Bank of America uh, here in Austin, Texas. And while we do this, this is leaderless resistance. You need to go out and demonstrate in other areas of the country as well. Uh, so Occupy Wall Street protesters are calling for totalitarian government, re-election of Obama. Uh, that article was the number one story on the web Sunday and today because the Drudge Report made it the big giant uh, banner link up there that this guy will save us. Uh, the uh, individual totally bankrupt psychologically, morally, uh, you're talking about a complete and total puppet of the globalist. Uh, and uh, his answer is further bankrupt America and pay tens of trillions of dollars into the offshore big six mega banks. But the good news is Drudge Report and others linked to our story so that that giant fraud uh, has been exposed. Uh, continuing, Paul Watson had another article out today. Occupy Wall Street tax proposal is backed by Wall Street itself and goes through George Soros uh, and the entire, the entire uh, setup there. Uh, the good news is there was a meeting between Ron Paul, uh, Ralph Nader, and Dennis Kucinich, and they agreed that they need to move towards ending the Fed and going towards the heart of the matter, not just demonizing free market and capitalism that we know is a whole hell of a lot better than what communism has basically uh, delivered to the world. In summation, and we're going to cover it more tonight, but in summation here in the news section, the big mega elite have made their money through government financed and authorized monopolies and through government welfare and, and corporate welfare and contracts. And they are pushing right now a movement towards fully turning America into a collective estate where the big global mega banks sit offshore and are exempt from all the taxes that they levy on us through austerity. So if you are against this tyranny, I want to challenge all of you, no matter where you live in the United States, in fact, we could put that map back up that shows the 12 Federal Reserve banks, no matter where you live in this country, you're just a few hours, in some cases just a few minutes, away from the real criminals. And it's important that we go there with the demand that the power of the purse be given back to Congress, that the Federal Reserve Act of 1913 be overturned, and that Wall Street and the inner coterie that created all these uh, derivatives be brought to justice and these debts be written off to Wall Street and the American people not be forced to pay. So if you want to get that article out to everybody, it's Occupy the Federal Reserve Movement launched, going at the real establishment 
uh, not some rebellion against the tyrants led by the bankrupt puppet who's clearly blackmailed Barack Hussein Obama or Rick Perry or other such minions.